Okay, here we are back in Monster Hunter Rise. So, off camera I did uh, some of the extermination missions, Baggy, Banabra, what have you. While doing the uh, creepy crawly one for the Alteroth and the Banabras, um, I found an arrow up by the temple. If you climb up, you'll see it sticking out. I think it was an arrow, could have just been like a really worn sword or something. So, Kagura wants those. Master Hero, that artifact you have there, may I take a glimpse at it? I see, fascinating, immensely fascinating indeed. This is an old message, a trace legacy of bygone eras most obscure. Sensibly, this record contains some story yet undiscovered that makes it an invaluable item. For the longest time, perhaps influenced by my trade, I have sought such annals to broaden my understanding of the world. If you would be so kind as to show me any others you come across, I'd gladly offer a token of thanks, small as it may be. I adventure that these old messages are fragmented into smaller notes, which lie in places remote and unaccustomed to human activity. I wish you luck in your hunt for them, and thank you in advance. So, with that, yeah, that's been started. Um, I just want to take a quick look at the bows before we take off. I did kill the dragon thing, so I can make this if I wanted to. Um, in case you're wondering, the Rapid Fire Poison is very much overkill. The Shrapnel may be decent. I, don't, I haven't used it yet, so I don't know. I don't think I can. But yeah, Shrapnel ammo is just a big blank for me at the moment. So I'm looking for a heavy bogan there. Uh, I didn't go after any Kelbys. <laughs> Right, they don't rapid fire if they don't really used to. If not for the crappy reload. I know this is above average, so it's actually a pretty quick reload faster than I realized. Eh. Like, I don't know, should I upgrade my stuff just yet? So the baggy stuff actually gives me the most defense. Go figure, right? Anyway, with that, we're a little bit more durable, I'm good to go face Agnosa. Oh. I... Yeah, I forgot to do these. So, uh, we have some quests to take. <laughs> we can do this one. Where is Agnosa? It's in the shrine. So we can grab this one. Gives three armor spheres. Pretty decent. This one should probably take priority, then, now that I think about it. Um, I don't know if he has any minions that I need to worry about. Uh, I can see myself gathering plants because of my gun stuff, and we'll grab this one just for the sake of it. So Agnosum is completely new to my knowledge, so as a result I don't know what to expect, I don't know where to shoot him, we're going to be kind of playing this by ear. And I may finally have to start using some of the ammo types I've been trying to hold back on for me being cheap. I need to remember where that stupid adamant seed is. Feathered Frenzy Agnosum. So. 
So yeah, we're gonna go a little heavy in that. I will try to poison him at first, since that's not always a bad way to start a fight. I don't know if his roar is one I have to worry about. I'm trying to th plot out a route in my mind on which way I need to go. We have some Jaggers here. Okay, easy one down. Yep, he's got a roar. The heck? Okay, he's poisoned now. jump forward. <laughs> Sucker's running away. Yes! Nanika <laughs> And there is some endemic life over there I can make a play for. But as you can tell, I've been practicing my wire bugs. The goat thing's the Kelby, by the way. In case you're not familiar with some of the previous endemic life. Frills, right? Actually, I should have put my gun away. Is there a bug around here? I'm not seeing it. Here. 
sucker pack's a bit of a punch. Plus, I'm probably using fire weak armor right now that I think about it. So, fire blight burns away your max HP, the red stuff. You roll or jump in water to put it out. Suckers do bounce. That was not my imagination last time. some nullberries. Fango it is one of the most obnoxious monsters in the game. I delight in their pain and suffering. Right there, I think you said it's ready to capture. doing the Kuropeko thing. Leave the show where you can to Street Fighter, dude. He's fleeing. There's a few more hits if I go this way and then down the hill. So, right here I need to craft some more ammo. Just looking for a bullfango corpse, it looks like it went away. Yes. Sleeping in a nest that does not belong to it. The nerve. <laughs> yeah. 
Oh my god, the Banabra. So that's what paralysis looks like, in case you're wondering. The shit stagger. Oh, look, he's angry. other games, you would be able to cancel out of this animation and then start carving in crap, but for some reason this game, either they don't let you or I haven't found the correct button for it yet. So with the flame sack, you're now able to make fire elemental weapons. In the past, you had to get that from Ian and Lowe's. But apparently they changed things up a bit. Let's go explore here while we're out. I'm gonna go up here in the off chance that there's another one of those artifact things. There is. So that's what it looks like. This is number three. The one I found before is number one. I don't know where two is. Yet. Yes, yes. I do need to check his nest after this mission. Huh, only have one sharp claw. Got his beak. Another. Ah, here are the broken parts ones. So the crest, the feather, the scale. Let's see what all the palico looted. And I don't know what they mean by plunder, but we got some meat. New cutscene, new title, notebook update. I don't think this is long enough for me to ease anything. <laughs> Hero of Light, back already. Good going, hunting that Agnosum. That's one problem down. We got another over at the Shrine Ruins. The villagers are all spooks saying there's ghosts there. Yeah, yeah. I'll be keeping an eye on things for now, but I may call for you later if something comes up. For the time being, go and see Hanoa. Taking out that Agnosum has opened up three star quests for you. Ooh. You're becoming a fun Kimura hunter squirt. Keep up the good work. Okay, sales going on. Fugen wants to teach us about petal aces. Usuchi has some new skills. We have the new wire bugs, I think. Yeah. Squirt, don't you think you've worn out that petal ace of yours by now? If you didn't know, the effects you receive on contact with a spirit bird changes with, with the type of petal ace you wear. Tell you what, you always been the hard hands on type, so how about giving you a new one to try out for yourself? Sound good? Mm. True Kimura Hunter knows their petal aces. Finding which type works best for you is key to being a master hunter. So we got strength, fortitude, and demon. <laughs> So, manage equipment. So we get more health and stamina, but we get less defense and attack. I pass on that. This gives you stamina and defense. Ah. So yeah, I'd say demon's the best way to go. Then remember to unload your crap. Oh. 
Good tidings, Master Hero. Oh. I've stocked a special selection of items expressly suited to your very exploits. Each and every one is guaranteed to be of use to you. I highly recommend that you give them your consideration. So I was kind of curious if I could hand over the relic thing. Let's see. I don't know. Anyway, so now that we've upgraded, we now can buy more stuff. So normal ammo 2... We can get normal 3, but I don't know if I can actually use it just yet. I'm not worried about that, I can always just pick some up. Paralysis is 10? Jeez. I need to find out how to make those. <laughs> Hi, Hero. I was hoping you could help me out with this little problem I have. I'm trying to develop some new Palamu gear, but I accidentally ran out of materials I need to finish my prototype. I'm sorry to ask, but would you possibly want to share some of the materials you have? I'm trying to give you a piece of, special piece of Palamu gear I've already finished making. Not a bad deal, don't you think? It sounds good. So he needs Macolite, or I haven't found any of that yet. Okay... Yes! See you. Heard you've been doing pretty well lately. Not, expect, not that I expect any less son from Rookie I took under my wing. To help you keep up the good work, here's some more great wire bugs I caught. Hope you find them useful. I don't know if those are like disposable or if you put them down there permanently there. Looks like the meow scenarios are open. Hero, thanks for always taking buddies with you on the hunt. On behalf of all the buddies here, I'd like to give you a token of thanks. Shoe Bale sometimes pre present you with buddy tickets, a sign of appreciation. These tickets can be used to upgrade your buddy's equipment. Why don't you go off on all these exciting adventures to the buddies itching to get them in some action on themselves? So I've decided to get even more buddies for you to hire. It means lots of paperwork and procedures, but it'll make them happy. I don't mind. Think about hiring a few new ones, okay? That's going to be a long ways away, I think. Hero, I've hired the important task for you. It's taken a great deal of effort to organize, but now the Meow scenarios are finally ready for action. They ride special buddy-sized kites high in the air, surveying the land to identify encroaching danger, and thus we arrive at my request. The buddies have grown quite strong. I ask that they join the Meow scenarios' efforts. Kamara reports we need to maintain the kites, but any materials your buddies find out in reconnaissance are yours to keep. What do you say? It helps ensure the safety of the village you have no qualms with them. So it's Monster Recon... They ride special kites, gather monster materials and items. Scout locations have their own routes with unique targets. They head on recons, players leave for quests, return once quests to repeat, or complete. Look for the scout locations, they give you the materials you want. The meow scenarios can be recalled before they complete their mission. Any materials will be retrieved. Points will not be. She may have a new sub. Yeah. I have a client interested in acquiring some of Kimura's local specialties. Would you kindly provide me with a few? In return, I'll show for you, and only you, a very unique and special trade. Should you find the suggestion agreeable, we only need a, you only need to supply a number of local goods. Please deliver them to the guild, they should be sent to me. You have my word that the compensation is well worth the trouble. Yeah, I have no idea where to find those, but it gives you a new sub right now. Huh, he found us a toxic Komori. No, I actually want to take those. Uh, exchange for items, rare find, black lock, or... Only costs 50 points, I'm good with that. You can sell it, that's basically its only use. Fast friends. So I will take this, this is for the house. And then the other thing I came here was to loot the nest. But yeah, I only really know where the box is relative to that one spot. <laughs> Thank you. 
Somebody need to pass by. Somebody I need your help with. You need to know more about this creature of the rock lizard. Think you can get a picture of it for me? Eh, it's not a big deal. I don't know where to find one offhand, but I've run into a few of them so far. Here, we've got a major crisis here, like for realsies. My, ma my ingredient supplier was attacked by an army of terrible, bloodthirsty monsters at the Shrine Runes. I mean, the merchant wasn't hurt or anything, but they ended up dropping the goods all over the place and running away. Now they're super down, feeling all guilty and stuff. Can you get back those ingredients for us? I'll find out where they are and mark them out on your map. It'll cheer up the supplier for sure, and you'll get to try my brand new Dongo, too. Pretty pleased with the cherry on top. So now we have the supply run quest. Does she have another one for us? Hero. Guess what? I've gotten so good at making bunny dango, they're turning out more delicious than ever. Cool, right? Now when you eat the same dango, the effect you get from them is even more powerful and energizing than before. Update the menu. You should check it out. Every dish there is super yummy if you want to order a whole bunch of them. So, yeah. That's just the progression thing where stuff scales up with you. Hello there, hero. I've got some big news for the canteen for you. We upgraded our dango making equipment to produce a whole new level of bunny dango dis deliciosity. Now when you eat from a menu, you'll have more energy than ever before. You can count on it. We also had some new dango, making them was a real team effort, and they're simply to die for. Yeah, anyway, it looks like you're starting to get the hang of this whole hunting thing, huh? Guess that means time has come for what? For some new moves, yo? I'm gonna teach them to you. They're called switch skills. Finding the right one for your skill is vital to unlocking your weapon's maximum potential, but enough talk. Go to any Uriah box in the one in town and choose switch s change switch skill. Switch skills open up a wide world of hunting possibilities. Try out a bunch until you find one that speaks to you. So... Here we are. Fanning maneuver? Huh, healing mech wyvern snipe? What is that? You can probably guess which one I want to get rid of. So yeah, that one, fanning vault. Aw, oh, man. Shots can fireball in midair. Wyvern blasts go directly down. <laughs> no, I want the other one. That sucks, man. Anyone else want a piece before I talk to her? Hey, Hero. Thanks to you, Yori's buddies made it back safely. You're such a big help. Master Helmut was relieved as well. When he got word that Yori's buddies were safe, he had the biggest grin on his face. Speaking of, I think I've got some news Hope that'll hopefully put a smile on your face. You've unlocked three-star quests. And not only do you get to new new quests, but you can travel to a new locale, too. Make sure you prepare accordingly, okay? So, real quick... Hunt too large... I kind of want to set up this one. By the way, we need to look and see if anything new appeared. Yeah, I'm not looking forward to doing those. The Popos did nothing wrong, damn it. So we have Sechadodon, Kuluyaku, Baroth. Baroth is fun with piercing rounds. <laughs> he is not nearly as dangerous as he is with the melee crap. Uh, Great Rogi, this is a poison one. Royal Ludroth. I'm going to do this one first, because I want to see the Flooded Forest for one. Aknossum. Six Dango ingredients. I'll do that one off camera. Kizu. So he's weak to fire, I believe. Ludroth. Prisms. Jaggy Jagya. Bobble Cactus. Now, usually for this type of thing, that's where Diablos shows up, because it's supposed to be an herbivore. And before we take any quests. So, new ingredient, our new materials are available and we can get new crap. So, what am I actually. Our oh, wait, my gun's down here. They won't tell me what I need. So, yeah, I'm not actually going to look at all these on camera because that will take an eternity for you guys. But, do I, ah, son of a. has the power barrel, but is that innate, or just because I... But the one that I really do want to look at before, between missions, is this one. 
So, what do you offer me? Fire attack, quick sheath, fire, recovery speed, fire, those all suck. Recoil down. Uh, this one. <laughs> the only thing that sucks, though, is I have an attack up on that slot. Paralysis attack, evade window, what is this exactly? Oh, it's just like an evade extender, I think. So what's my current helmet, the iron one, give me? Botanist and defense boost. Now don't get me wrong, botanist is nice. Fourteen versus... Four? Yeah, I, I really do actually need this. I'm still weak to fire by resist drag, go figure. I'll spare you guys the joke. Anyway, it's time for the Ludroth. Probably gonna do Ludroth and Ra. Actually, no, I'm only gonna have time for one. Before I forget. Yeah, I don't actually need the poison ammo. Let's go. Now there are there used to be armor skills like load up, which increase the amount of ammo you could carry before you have to reload. I don't know if those are still in the game. It's very possible they could be gated behind G rank, and that's months off. Probably behind an expansion. Deep green and shallow swamps, the flooded forest. The main contender, Royal Ludroth. Ah, I didn't mean to take that. Son of a... Anyway, this is a location from... Main. Uh, Monster Hunter 3. They took out the watery areas, and it's all land, though. Yes. I'm also kind of curious what it looks like without all the loading screens. Yes. So this is where the Ludroth sleeps, or at least it did back in Try. I'll actually show the area a little bit, so I can grab the toadstools. Those were toadstools and try, yes. Spiderwebs were not there, though. Down here, you spiel. Ah, oh, it's all shallow now? Yes. I should actually check all the old gathering spots and see if there's stuff there. Anyway, two monsters here. Without access to the watery stuff, there's no need to fear a Legiacris, a Gobel, Gobble, or gonna call it. I don't remember what else was here. I know Ian sometimes will spawn here. Actually, yeah, that's right, they had to move the mining stuff because there used to be stuff underwater.
This is new. Anthurium? Those are the things you got a mug for the paw prints, yes. paw print stamps. I got one off camera, but not enough to make the banana or sword, whatever it was. They can steal stuff from you if they hit you, so that's why I'm trying not to stay stationary for too long. You used to be able to get Macalite here in quite a bit of quantity, but... I have no idea where the mining spots are anymore. This temple wasn't here back then, by the way. He does not have a piercing rule or whatever you want to call it. Now there used to be a subspecies of Royal Ludroth that was purple and would poison. By the way, you can cut off his tail, I forgot to mention that part. Yeah, watch out for the water blight. That's a new attack. So I do want to test to see if I can cut his tail off here. And yes, the tail cutting does take priority over even riding the sucker. exception of the one new attack that he showed, a lot of his stuff is things I've seen before and I'm quite familiar with them, actually. That's a new one. Okay, they gave him a couple new tricks. Although I do need to work on my accuracy here. I don't know if I have to hit the very tip or if that part still counts towards the blade damage. Where's my hound? That's Roggy there. Missed. Looks like they're gonna do turf war. Unlikely he's going to be able to poison it because I already boosted the poison throw. Never mind. Yeah. 
Okay, that was enough. Anyway, due to his long, slender leviathan body, he is a sitting duck when it comes to years. So my next goal is to bust his mane, that's the spongy part. If he wants to run away, let him. I'm gonna carve up his tail here. Okay, that is definitely cool. It was extremely hard to uh, cut off tails in the old days like that. Crap. I literally ran into that while well, hopped into that one. That's a load of crap. Generous hitbox. Right there, the sponge broke. <laughs> now, the Ludron is always a good source of the dash extracts in the old days. Aw, oh, we made him cry. By the way, this is supposed to be the male of the species because it has the main dimorphism, similar to a lion, you know? The females are supposed to be the tiny ones. So right here, I want... I may lose the ride, but I'd rather just that big crap. Yeah. Lost it. Doesn't matter. Not too far away. Oh my god, these hitboxes, man, are so generous. Crystal, we got a little bit of Macalite. Just one, it looks like. Yeah, I'm not gonna drop the bug here now. Flow Fern. I think he took a shortcut back to his nest that I can't take. I could get another turf war going, but it'd be overkill at this point. Just a bitter bug. Replace the potion I used on accident. There's Roggy. Uh, you can bust the sack under his jaw. That's where his poisons are. See the sleeping bull Fenko. Okay. 
underneath us. too much of your guys' time, so after this I'm going to make my way there. He's back in that cave, I suspect. The one I pointed out at the very beginning of the hunt. The heck is that? Oh, he's awake. Assuming he even was asleep. down their length of their body like that. Yes, I made it. use the mines defensively, but they very well can be used that way. Right here I'm using the female as a shield. My shots will pierce her body, his will not. So yeah, I'm cool bring your first aid med here just to make sure that my weapon is sheathed. Anyway, I plan to carve the male and the females. So water blight is devastating if you're using a hammer or a bow, something that's very stamina dependent. Since I use a gun, it doesn't bother me in the slightest. See, I need to get used to this place now that it doesn't have the underwater areas anymore. <laughs> that is a lot of tails. <laughs> I guess if they regrow, maybe? <laughs> But I'm looking for Macolite, which I'm just not seeing. Uh, for the bro broken parts, we get the hide and the crest. The Royal Lujoth armor is what's used by the hammer in the demo, in case you're wondering what it looks like. It's kind of like a yellow Eskimo type thing, is how I always imagine it. So we'll take one look around then, yeah, I'm going to put a break in the video. I think from here on out I'm probably going to just going to do one monster per video, that way it's easier to find them and, yeah, make of it what you will. So, 
someone wants to speak to us, but I'm gonna cash in. What's with the brats? You start to buy when I wasn't looking? It's a little... Actually, I'm going to stick with the mushrooms if I'm going back in the flood forest, because there's a few more gathering spots. Especially the person who wants to talk to me is over here. Could be in the guild hall. Could be the ninja dude at sushi. I spoke to Atsushi off-camera. He's the arena guy, by the way. Hero, I have special news for my favorite customer. I've got some new stock for you since you did such a great job. Take a look if you set on your next quest. Yeah, not happening. So, this is where we'll put the break in this time. Just to reiterate one more time, try to get in the habit of quest over, run to box. Because sometimes you have a lot of crap to drop off. But yeah, with that, I am out of here. I'm the Hero of Light. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.